first of all, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Mine's was quick. Um, it was nice, though. You know, it was a, appreciate every moment that you can get. Um, so, yes, um, hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. And I meant to talk about this on my Love and Hip Hop Hollywood review, but I just figured since that review was so long that um, I was just like, I'll just talk about it separately in a Chalaki Thoughts uh, video. <laughs> so the headline reads So Marion will headline The Millennium Tour 2020 But Won't Have B2K there They won't be on the roster This is um, To good old uh, MTV News darling uh -huh. um, I'll put the link in the bottom bar below So y'all can check it out now, y'all know um, that y'all saw that Vlad interview with um, Amarion. You know, he was talking about everything. He was real nonchalant, real professional, real, you know, un un unaffected, unbothered by anything. But, you know, that's so whore. You know, clearly, uh, when you find out that one of your best friends is um, in a relationship, a committed relationship with your baby mother, that's, that's uh, you know, whether y'all are currently friends or not, that's just... Still, some lines you should not cross. And her just going through bandmate to bandmate to you ain't got nobody else in your circle. But Lil Fizz been doing that kind of stuff. Like I've talked about on many reviews, Lil Fizz um, dated Monice when she was uh, in a relationship with that white girl. Um, what's her name? AD. Um, Lil Fizz was dating AD's best friend. Who just so happened to be an enemy of Monice. So Lil Fizz always do kind of stuff about it. Always do kind of uh, uh, stuff like this. So anyway. And you know. Just going back to that Vlad interview. I was just like yeah you know. Obviously that would have some kind of effect. Beca because it's just messy. It's messy. It's messy. It's messy. It's messy. And then Omarion and April are not on good terms. I'm sure in terms of the kids. So they always going to have to deal with each other. But now he's always going to have to deal with Lil Fizz on that level too. Because now Lil Fizz is around his kids. And they always going to have to deal with crazy Monice. Because Monice is the mother of Lil Fizz's uh, son. So it's just. It's a mess. It's, too, it's a mess. It's too much mixing and mingling. and It's too much. It's too much. But anyway let me read the article. Okay. It says, are you ready for another taste of early uh, to mid-2000s R&B nostalgia? If not, there's plenty of time, but it's best to know early uh, whether you'll need to break out the do-rags, extremely large basketball jerseys, and band-aids to plaster on your face. Amarion has revealed the new lineup for the Millennium Tour 2020 and it's ready to whisk you back in time to when things were just a little more awesome. There's no B2K this year, but that's fine because Bow Wow Lord and others will be in their place. And this is the poster child. Yin Yang Twins, Lloyd, Sammy, Pretty Ricky, Soldier Boy. Um, they could have left Soldier Boy off. I don't really like Soldier Boy as a as a personality. But I mean, you know, a hit is a hit, a bop is a bop. This is the poster. Sammy posted it. Y'all remember little Sammy? He done grown up. I like the way you look at me. I like the time we spend, baby. I like what we have grown to be. I like it, girl. Don't you know I like it? When I think of you, I think of. All the things we could do. Y'all remember Sammy Child. But anyway. The shade. And the, the shadiest part about this is that. Because you know. Um, Omarion did not want to do. The um, tour. Because the tour was brought to us. Not you know to us. But it was brought to our attention. About the the um, the tour. Uh, I think through J-Bug. On Love Hip Hop Hollywood. So J-Bug was talking about it. And, uh, you know, he was trying to trying to talk to Fizz to let him know, like, hey, like, you kind of messing up this whole tour with um, messing around with April. It's messy. And Lil Fizz didn't give a damn at all because all of them secretly hate Omarion. 
Which is so odd. What did Omarion do to y'all? Was it just jealousy because he was the lead singer? I mean, he's not all that great of a singer anyway, but I mean, was it because he was the lead singer? Like, what is it? I don't know. Why they really hate Omarion? I kind of feel bad for him. Uh, Omarion is a very strong person, though, to put up with that uh, because he said that uh, Raz BJ Bug and um, Lil Fizz was already like a team. They was already a clique. They had already bonded before he came along. Um, that kind of makes me think about 702 because uh, 702 was the sister group. Um, but then Mila came along and um, she became the lead singer. And that kind of knocked the other ones, you know, in the background. Singing in the background. And they didn't really care for that, you know. She's like, who is this new girl, you know, coming up on the, you know, scene and it's tearing up our family unit and stuff. So that kind of makes me, you know, think about that. Um, some outsider coming in and then kind of, you know, taking over. Not really their fault, but just because I guess they're the most talented um, or has that it factor, so they're, you know, in the front, um, you know, uh, and, and, you know, in front of the other one, so, that is interesting, but also what's even more interesting is that these are the same guys that was on the Millennium Tour this time, the, or the last time, whenever the hell they had it, I didn't go, because I heard the teachers, tickets were sky high, and I didn't want to pay that to see them old niggas, but, um, I was just like, wow, you know, so then I went behind, <laughs> and and I mean it don't help that allegedly uh, Jay Bug slept with Omarion's mama back in the day. Allegedly, when she was braiding their hair, she was taking Jay Bug off to them bathrooms. Allegedly, so I just say, well, what is going on? Hot mess. Hot. I think it's just a combination of things. Uh, 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 Jay Bug is allegedly a mother effer. Um, Lil Fizz messes with uh, baby mothers. They say Raz B is somebody's mother. It's a hot mess. It's it's a lot going on with them. It's a lot going on. Poor Raz B, right? I just want to give him a hug. Try to say, uh, Raz B, craziest cat shit, child. Um, and, 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 you know, I think J Bug went on live, um, recently and he said that, um, Lil Fizz, uh, definitely is a big, a big part of the reason as to why, um, they're not getting back on this tour and, and, you know, doing their thing again. Um, I would have to agree with that, but I don't, um, I don't necessarily think one monkey stopped a show, but that's a pretty big monkey and it's pretty big messy. Um, uh, what they're doing, um, you know, I think that's a part of it, but I think that this, you know, it just wasn't going to work. They tried it, they made the money, and, and that was it, uh, you know, they, they're still, you can dislike people and work with them, I do it all the time, but there's still some kind of chemistry and some kind of, um, camaraderie, what's the word, I guess respect, there's still some kind of gelling chemistry that needs to happen and although they naturally have that chemistry because they've been performing together since they were like 14 and 15 um, it's so much time that have went by and they're now adults and they started off as kids um, and, and you know so it's just a lot. It, it, you mix, you know, uh, what Lil Fizz is doing behind the scenes. You mix what's coming up, what what has came up about um, allegedly J Bug and Amarion's mama messing around allegedly. Um, you mix Raz B and all his craziness, and it's a lot. It's a lot, and then Amarion has to try to keep it together because he's the lead singer. It's a lot to take on, you know. You have to at least like a bitch a little bit, you know. I would think if if, you, if you're in a group, you know, and and I just don't think they like each other. I just think that they are four different men, um, in four different places in their lives, and you know, it was cute for a moment, but Omarion moved on, child, and, and him and uh, Bow, I was headlining the tour.
Now, I like that little album they put out back in the day. Jump off, jump off, jump off, jump off. Y'all remember that? I remember that. Um, they was doing it back in the day. Uh, Jay Bug, uh, Bow Wow, and, and Omaria. But Bow Wow's a hot mess too, ain't he? He's still beating up uh, women's in elevators, stomping them, dragging them up and down the staircases, allegedly. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Am I going to this tour? Probably not. But, um, but wow, I just want to come on here and give y'all a little tea, a little Thanksgiver tea. I hope y'all had a, thanks, thank, a great Thanksgiver. Y'all, I'm tired, child. I got to get to bed, child. They got me working, coming in an hour early, child. With this said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at this his world on Instagram and Twitter at this his world 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.